There are two major changes happening to Blender 4.2, and one of them is okayish, although it's poorly executed, and I'm gonna show you why. And the other change is simply what the fuck. So let's talk about both of them, and we're gonna start with the what the fuck. Now let me explain you why I call this uh, update what the fuck, because the first time I opened this window here and saw this, I was like, what the fuck is this? So basically what's happening here, first of all, we have a naming convention change because it's really important in the era of, you know, pronouns and all this shit to change this from add-ons to extensions because, you know, um, this would be unacceptable to be called add-ons in 2024. And it's really confusing because add-ons, you know, what the fuck are add-ons? It's, it's better to call it extensions. So I'm guessing they have a meeting on this one and they decided, you know, um, unanimously that it should be called extensions. So well done. But here we have still add-ons, so, you know, uh, maybe they just were tired and didn't fix this because they forgot something like that. But what I already have a beef with, right, is this bullshit. So now in order to install add-ons that come natively with Blender, you need to be connected to the internet, otherwise, good luck. So in order to enable these add-ons, right, you need to click here and you need to type whatever add-on you want to enable, like say F2, whatever. And instead of clicking here, you're going to click here to download it and install it. Okay, and then you save perhaps you're good to go. Now, if you want to install external add-ons like hard ops, box cutter, you know, add-ons that actually make Blender usable, what you want to do is you want to go to this tiny little triangle that's, you know, almost forgotten, which tells you which direction Blender is headed. And you want to install from disk, okay? And then you install your add-on, save perhaps and you're good to go. So except for the obvious issues with this, uh, you know, new change is that you're going to have this tiny message in here. And what it means is that you have some, you know, add-ons missing in this version of Blender. So let's say you got 4.1 installed on your machine, you install 4.2, and you want to copy or sort of, you know, um, uh, import settings from 4.1 to 4.2 config file. It will import everything except all these add-ons that come with Blender. So all the Blender native add-ons you will have to reinstall manually after connecting to internet. Right, so second uh, change that happened is uh, related to AutoSmooth. Now, you know my beef with AutoSmooth modifier, I think is completely unnecessary and a lot of developers, add-on developers and communities are really un unhappy with this, which is why majority of people in our community stays with 4.0, they just can't be fucked with this bullshit. But you know, this change that comes with 4.2 isn't actually a terrible idea, but it's poorly executed and I'm gonna show you why, okay? So this change, what it does is simply, well, there are two changes. One of them is actually really good. So in 4.1, and I'll show you, uh, when you, there's a 4.1, right? If you want to add auto smooth to your mesh, you can't just right click and do this because this does fuck all, okay? This just is broken. So what you want to do is go here, go to this uh, modifier menu, which is, you know, I have a separate beef with this shit, and you add smooth by angle and then ignore sharpness, peachy. Now the new one actually is a little bit better because what you can do, you can actually add this modifier through the right click menu. So if I right click here and shade auto smooth, it's going to actually add the modifier. That's a good thing. So I like that. But the problem I have is with this pin icon here. So now what this pin icon is doing is pinning your modifier in place. Now, if I'm going to add a bevel here, so I've gone fuck with this menu, man, uh, bevel here and, um, I'm going to change the size here a little bit and I'm going to add weighted normals, right? So this one. And I'm gonna, on top of this, gonna add a boolean. So Shift D and, you know, go somewhere here and I'm gonna remove the bevel and I can keep these, by the way. And Shift click here and Control minus, right? To add this modifier. Now I can see if I hide this, okay? That something is wrong with my shading. It's, you see that? It's, it's, it's just fucked up right? The shading here. Why? Because smooth by angle is underneath weighted normals. Now this, this modifier should be at the bottom of the stack. So watch this. I have to untick this fucking thing, move it above, and now I can't pin it back again. So again, pinning is a good idea, but let me pin it back. Because if I can pin these two, I can actually lock them in place. And that's a good thing because you know, I don't want them to move at all. 
because these two should be at the bottom of a stack. Now, before I'm gonna do this, I need to disable a hard ops and box cutter because they will basically sort my modifiers automatically and I don't want that. So let me just uh, look at the hard ups and I'm going to disable this and I'm going to also go with box cutter and disable this and save preferences, right? And then I'm gonna add a boolean. So shift D and move it somewhere here. I'm gonna remove the boolean, the bevel, Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna select them too, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this. Watch what happens with my with my modifier stack, right? It's it's all fucked up. Do you see what I mean? So my boolean goes at the bottom anyway. So even if my smooth by angle is gonna be pent, I still have to move bull tool. It's just rubbish, right? So I'm gonna have to move to the top of the stack in order to you know first boolean, then bevel, and then run other modifiers. So what I would suggest is adding the pin icon ability back on so we can repin modifiers because if i pin this one this one and bevel right i wouldn't have to sort my modifiers automatically and that's a good thing because you're saving time so this is a move in the right direction but again it needs a bit of you know polish in terms of execution right and kind of a you know concept behind it all right so that's it for the video it's a really quick one today hope it helps you out and uh, it solves some you know problems that you may be having with these new changes and, uh, you know, it's, I don't know why all these changes are happening. They're not really necessary. I'd prefer them to work on something like, for example, improving booleans or improving mirrors or improving, you know, functionality and kind of uh, ease of use of Blender to make it a bit more streamlined and professional, uh, professional software rather than, you know, fiddling with stuff that doesn't really make any difference and doesn't move the needle or actually makes things more cumbersome and adds more work because that's not what you want to do if you want to optimize your software to become used by professionals, okay? So anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.